high school soccer program means a lot for the community and a lot for the younger kids. They now have a choice when they reach middle school to play JV soccer or varsity soccer. My name is John Gibbs, boys varsity soccer head coach. The main challenge has been starting a soccer team during COVID with no money. So we've had support from the community and the parents and the Hope's Bluff, City of Hope's Bluff and uh, Hope's Bluff High School, Hope's Bluff Middle School. And it's been a real challenge to start off with nothing and have what we have now. Yeah, I know for, I don't know, the last probably five, eight years or so, uh, we've had direct leagues play over here on our all-purpose field and uh, got some uh, our coaches here around Hoax Bluff that coach soccer. have done a real good job with the kids and promoting the league and I've seen it grow over the last five years or so. So, uh, you know, it's it's had good, it's had a good root system and a good foundation, you know, throughout our community here in Hoax Bluff. My name's uh, Scott Reeves. I'm a mayor of Hoax Bluff and uh, have been for the past four years working on my second term. Of course, everybody in the community knows soccer's been a hot topic over the past several years and uh, it's been gaining some steam. We have some very talented kids in Hope's Bluff and they will eventually be kids from Hope's Bluff that will get the college scholarship from playing soccer. Anytime, you're, uh, anytime you have your Cinderella a year or your, or I guess you call it your maiden voyage, uh, first year to have a sport and you make the playoffs, that's pretty big. Uh, I think it'd give a boost also to the program uh, to be able to make the playoffs. Playoffs is big. I know from football, baseball, basketball standpoint, when our girls and guys have always made the playoffs, it's always uh, it's always a big event here in Hope Bluff. It brings on a little extra excitement to the community, and uh, uh, I think it I think it'd really be a big plus. We've had. Uh, 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 people around Hoax Bluff, like Big Oak Garage, who built the soccer goals, you know, was able to, uh, of course, save the uh, school a lot of money. We've had uh, uh, Buffalo Rock came in and did our scoreboards. We have a contract with them here on our uh, uh, facilities here at the city of Hoax Bluff. And uh, they did a phenomenal job getting the scoreboard ready before the first game. Uh, the Etowah County Sheriff's Office, through the help of uh, Mr. Tim Langdale, our board member, was able to uh, get some bleachers set up over there for the spectators, and that's really been a big help. So uh, it's been a it's been a uh, you know community effort, and uh, I think everybody's worked good together making it happen. I think it's headed in the right direction. Got good coaches, and uh, you know a lot of times it's not always teaching about winning and losing, but you know it's how you play the game and teaching young men and young women to uh, prepare for life. And uh, soccer does, as other sports do, teaches a uh, a, a team effort and uh, uh, building with synergy, and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a good sport. The seniors are very important. I have five seniors, and all of them has played soccer since they were young. Played rec soccer, played competitive soccer. That uh, we've had, we have no one on our team that has uh, ever played a school soccer game until this year. And the seniors are very important. I, with the potential, the way it's headed right now, I think it could be a, uh, I think it could really be a, uh, a widespread sport. I think uh, with more kids getting involved, uh, you know, I, I see it, I see it being, uh, you know, pretty huge in our community. Uh, you know, small town communities normally are known for their Friday night football. So, uh, you know, in the South, we live in the South where football is a big sport. Uh, NASCAR racing is pro probably a big sport, but uh, I, I see soccer gaining some steam, uh, and uh, I think it'll uh, it'll be able to compete with our uh, uh, with our other sports and, and show a strong stand. The community has been supportive and donating stuff to us to help us get started, and they are still very supportive of us now.